Hello everyone, so today a video about stats in RPG Builder. Stats are something that I personally really really love in RPGs because most of the time that's what's letting you, you know, um, create very unique builds and um, scale in a very specific way. So obviously because of that in RPG Builder I was going to make something very in-depth, right? And of course, as I repeat it every time, um, stats are also something that in the most case, and when I say most case, it's pretty much for most of you, it's going to be everything. You will not have to code anything because once again, you know, I made a system that lets you create all of that in the editor. So what we're looking at here is a character panel and uh, over here are the text uh, showing the current stats uh, that your character has and the current value, right? Uh, so items are of course one of um, many ways to obtain stats and that's what we're going to be looking at in this video. So you can see, uh, for example, this helmet is giving you 7 armor and 11 strength. And um, of course the UI and all of that and the stats are actually updated if you equip it or unequip it. Um, but I want to quickly show you something. Um, let's get naked. Yeah, I know kind of weird on YouTube, but let's get naked and uh, see how much damage my fireball is dealing now. So you can see that the initial hit is 50 and the dot after that is one per tick, right? Um, now, if you look at this axe, it's giving us 100 health, 25 fire damage and 18 spirit. So let's equip it. Now we have fire damage plus 25. Obviously, as you can imagine, the fireball is dealing uh, fire damage and you can see that here. So if we go in the fireball effect, um, so it's an instant damage, of course, and uh, you can see that the secondary damage type is uh, fire damage and the main one should actually be magical. I'm not sure why it was physical. So let's save that. Um, and so here you can see that we have only one secondary, secondary damage type right now, which is only fire because that's the only thing I kind of set up for the video. But uh, what matters is that this is selected. And because of that now, and that we equipped uh, the fire, I mean the, the axe giving us fire damage, when I'm going to be using it, it went from 50 to 75 because, you know, 50 plus 25 fire damage is 75. Once again, you will actually be able to uh, set how much point should give you damage and so on like this is for another video but uh, the point is how did this work like how did this actually work um, to increase this fire damage well the answer is simple it's once again in the editor there is, you have nothing to code for that and you will be able to create any kind of damage type and so on so um, one of the first thing you would have to do to create a new stats will be to go in the settings and then combat and the stats functions. And this is where you're going to be defining, um, well, stats functions. So anything that you want a stat to do, for example, whether it is lifesteal, uh, form, uh, or like a specific damage type or a specific resistance, you will have to define those function in here. And here you can see that we have fire damage, fire resistance, and fire penetration. These are the three ones we're going to be looking at for this video. Now, if you go back to the combat tab and the stats module, you can see that we have a couple stats here, uh, including a two which are very important, which are health, of course, and uh, movement speed. But uh, let's take a look at fire damage. First of all, I want to go through, um, actually, let's just create a new one. And I want to go through each field of uh, the stats module so that you can, you know, understand what each thing is doing. So the name is, of course, you know, the name that you want represented for this stat in this editor. And the display name is the name that are that is actually going to be used in the UI. Uh, a description, if you want to, this is not implemented yet, but uh, at release, when you will be hovering like one of the stats, it's going to be showing you the stat description. The file name is not something you choose, so you don't really care. Um, so now we have the types. This is the first thing um, you have to, you know, decide for your stats. And this is either, well, it can be none actually, because some stats do not require a, a type, such as a movement speed. Um, but in the case of damage, like fire damage, 
this is what is going to be, you know, in the code, uh, actually checking if these specific stats should add damage or something. Or of course, resistance, penetration, and vitality is a bit different. We're going to be looking at health a bit later. Vitality stat is everything like health, mana, stamina, things that goes up and down and that have usually a minimum and a maximum. And also a stat that can trigger um, actions on minimum, maximum, or in between. So for example, health, when you reach zero, you're dead, right? So this kind of stuff. Then you have a UI category. I'm going to be uh, coming back to this at the end of this video. Uh, is player only? This field is simply uh, if you want some stats to not be on your NPC. This is this helps you to keep things cleaner and it's also going to, you know, uh, optimize things a bit. So this stat is not needed on the NPC, so you just don't have it on there. And now we have the stat function. So every time you add something here, it's going to be uh, possible to select here now. Um, so here, of course, we have fire damage and pretty much any function you decided to to create. Here also very important, uh, the opposite stat. This is not needed, it can stay none, but um, in the case of uh, fire damage, you know, the opposite stat is going to uh, let you trigger some extra action. So if we look at fire damage here, you can see that the opposite stat is fire resistance, meaning that we, when we actually calculate damage based on the fire damage, if the opposite stat is not none, then it's actually going to be looking for the fire resistance stat of the um, enemy you hit. And if it has any resistance, then it's actually going to be taken in consideration and reduce the fire damage this unit is taking based on uh, his resistance. And of course, you have a minimum value, a max value if you want one. But for something like um, a fire damage, um, we don't have, we don't, I mean, in my case, at least I don't want a maximum value or um, the minimum value, or rather, the minimum value could be zero anyway. But and the base value, uh, this is also important. Um, the base value is uh, if you set five here, for example, your characters and any NPC in game will start with five. So now let me quickly show you how to actually, you know, uh, personalize the start value. Uh, for example, for races. So if you look at um, the health race here, for example, here we have, let's just look at the dwarf actually, because there is zero, so I show you from scratch. Um, if you add one element to this stat thing and you select a stat, so for example, let's say fire damage, and now you set the amount to 10, um, and you would save that. Now, whenever you create a dwarf, you know, your dwarf are going to have um, an initial value for fire damage of 10, and you can add as many as you want. Uh, so if you wanted, like, you know, many, many different um, stats um, for your races, this is possible. So this is how you will be able to give different stats um, for your races when they are created, you know. And this works the exact same way for classes. So if you wanted, for example, the Berserker class to start with um, 11 strength, uh, because, you know, it's a Berserker, uh, you could do so. So you would just save that and uh, now your Berserker would have an extra 11 strength. So that's pretty much it for, you know, the, the values and all of that. Um, so yeah, let's just take a, you know, a, a deeper look at how I set up the stats. So like I said, the fire damage is of course of type damage. Uh, the stat function is fire damage and the opposite stat is fire resistance. Now, if you look at fire resistance, it's kind of the same, but of course it's not damage. Now it's a resistance. The stat function is fire resistance. And now you see that there is even another opposite stat for resistance, which is fire penetration. So this is working the exact same way. When you are going to calculate the resistance, now if this is not none and this is fire penetration, we will now check the fire penetration of the attacker, meaning that this stat can, you know, uh, negate some of the fire resistance that you have. So once again, very in-depth system and all of that done in the editor without having to code anything. So that's pretty cool. Uh, the health uh, stat uh, I wanted to show you is a type vitality. And uh, as of right now, there is no, I didn't implement yet, uh, for example, some, you know, 
action that happens uh, at a certain percentage or value, but these vitality stats are going to be used for that. Uh, the health has no function and has no opposite stat, but it does have a max value and a base value. So I also forgot to show that uh, you can, of course, do the same for NPCs. So as you can see here, for example, I want these dummy targets, which are those um, targets I'm using here to, to test combat. Uh, they are starting with 5000 health. So this is overriding the values that you set in the initial uh, base value, right? So this lets you customize stats exactly how you want them for NPCs and uh, races and classes. So um, that's pretty much it for stats. And one last thing I wanted to show you is that the UI you see here with categories, so such as general, physical, magical, defense, and all the stats in here, this UI is actually automated. Once again, you don't have anything to do for that. And uh, let me quickly show you how this works. So um, let's say, let's go out of the game. I'm just going to close and reopen the editor to make sure everything's fine. Um, and if you go now in stats, you can see that the fire damage has a UI category and the category is magical. But let me quickly show you how um, we would add a new category. So you go in the combat settings, you add a new stat UI category and let's call this video. And let's hit save. Now we will go back to combat stats and we could, for example, add a new stat. Let's call this stat a uh, tutorial. It's not going to do anything, obviously. It's just for this video, you know. Uh, no description, no type, but now it's going to be in the video UI category. And we don't really care about all the other settings. Now that's it, and um, we could go back in game, um, you know, on any character, we go back to THMSV, and um, now if we open the character panel and we go all the way down, you see that there is this video, UI category, and tutorial under there. So in just a few seconds, we added a new stat, and on top of that, we made it possible to be visible in the... Um, in the UI. And if you add the tutorial stats on uh, any item or whatever, this is going to be updated properly, just like any other stats. So that's pretty neat, in my opinion. That's uh, once again saving you a lot of time. And it's really letting you create very, very in depth stats and combat mechanics for your game. So I hope you like it. Let me know if you have any suggestion. Make sure to subscribe if you want to see more of those videos. And consider joining the Discord so we can start chatting, you know. So thank you for watching and see you in the next video.